It's your boy Dragon back with another video and today we am gonna be doing a thumbnail tutorial and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this thumbnail right here. So it's gonna be a pretty simple tutorial. So if you guys watch and get through you should be able to come out something like this. Alright, so the first thing I do is I add Topaz Labs to my character. I go filter Topaz Labs and I put Crisp on. I already have Crisp on right now. And basically what I did after this was I just went to style lies and add oil paint. But I already have my oil paint on also. So you can copy these same settings if you guys want to, but this is basically what you should start off with. Then after this, I go to my fix and I add my inner glow out of shadow. And I try to go with the same color scheme as what's on the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you guys my settings right here. Inner glow right here, outer glow right here, and then my little drop shot I added. So now that I have this, I'm going to go get my screenshot from over here. And just a snatch block screenshot and you can bring this over but what i do when i bring it over is i'm gonna cut these characters out and keep it at this size right here so i'm just gonna zoom in and start cutting these characters out right now and i'll get back with you guys when i cut both of these characters out all right about to be done cutting out this character and when you get to like characters like this it could look a little bit confusing but it's pretty much easy so you just go to the end make selection don't do what i just did because i did not mean to do that but you make a selection boom okay and you just literally copy but make sure you're on the right layer because i almost did it on the wrong way so now that you have this you should have something like that might not look the best but when you gonna actually do it it's gonna be fine so next thing i'm gonna do is enlarge both of these but before i do that i'm gonna add oil paint to both of them so they can look way better so just go to stylize and you can have on the same settings you had last time okay and then filter oil paint okay so now that you have the oil paint on these, you can oil paint the background too. Because I did that. It might look a little bit weird. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I just did it for the so the quality can be better. So now we oil painted, we can enlarge these photos and put it like that. Alright. Now that we got the pictures. Well, that might be too big. But just find the right size for you. Because you don't want the oil paint to be looking like that. But yeah, I'm going to just find the right size and I'll be back with you guys. All right, so I got the right size now. And now that I did that, basically what I'm gonna do is go to the background, hold control and U. And once I do that, I'm gonna add colorize and then have like the orange color and up my saturation. Now that I do this, you see the background looks way better. Now I'm gonna go to the just unpack and get the little dots. I will put these in the description so you guys can use them if you want to. But you can probably find this somewhere also, but I'm gonna just help you guys out with this right here. I know most people probably don't have that pack, but it is five dollars, so I really think you should get it. So now that we have the dots, I'm gonna obviously put this behind everything, and we can just lower the um, opacity a little bit. All right. Now we lower the opacity on this. What we can do now is go add some effects right here, and I'm gonna go back to the disc on the pack and go to the cartoon effects. And I'm pretty sure you guys seen this effect before it also, because it's not hard to find. But yeah, if you need that, I can hook you up with that too. So, yeah. I'm going to just put this up in here. And make sure you put these above the dots. So with the effects right here, basically what I'm going to do is do like this right here. And put it on the side, then go to the eraser tool and erase these little edges off. And I'm basically gonna do the same thing for the next side. I did the same to the next side. I'm just gonna hold Control U and then colorize these and basically have them with the same orange color, but just up the saturation a lot more than the actual background. So I do this, uh, Control U, and basically do it to the other screenshot. All right, so now that you got these on both the screenshots, what we can do is go to the character. Then add a clipping mesh, and you just want to click the new layer. You saw me click on create a clipping mesh. Basically, what I'm going to do is go to my brush tool and get like an orange color like that, and just do like this right here. And you can just do it to where it look like it's actually gluing onto them, and just lower the opacity. So now that you got this right here, I'm going to go get an arrow, and I'm going to just put that on there also. All right, so now that I brought my arrow over, I'm just going to go to edit, transform, and then turn this around. And basically just have it pointing to the character like that and I'm gonna put it below this and I'm gonna duplicate it just so I can have like better drop shadow on it and then merge the layers all right so now that we did this right here we can go back and look at the thumbnail 
Now you see that we basically almost, well, basically have the same thing, but when we add these extra effects at the end, it's gonna look way better. So yeah, um, yeah, we got this right here so far. Next thing I'm gonna add is the 2K21 logo from the Shellery pack, and I know you can find this in Sergi's next gen pack because I saw it in there myself. But yeah, so you can just go get this right here and get that logo. And basically just put it behind the character or wherever you want to put it like you saw me do you know when i just made so you just put this behind the character like so and have it like this right here all right so now that you had all this stuff in the right spot basically almost to the end of the thumbnail but um yeah what we can do now is just add some extra effects to try to lighten things up so what i'm gonna do is actually add some exposure to the stuff below here and that's what I did on that one when I basically got to the end to line it up like that right there. So yeah, you see I just added the exposure and basically once you do that, I'm going to just get some brushes and try to just brush these things up over here. Like to try to make things lighter. I'm going to just keep the same color and go for like a lighter one. Like something like that. Alright, so yeah. Do something like that. And you can lower the opacity a little bit. You probably like do something like that but yeah and then I would just um, make another one and then put it to black my homie JB told me about this and just go around like this right here and basically when I um, go around like that I'm just gonna lower the opacity a lot and it looks way better and I put it on screen well not screen but lower the opacity all right, so now that we did this, I'm gonna go back to the Dishonor pack and get the color correction. Now my C2, CC2 color correction, basically just like this. And you can go to my pack and get this, basically. But yeah, just put this on here. It's the one from um, his pack. And you can just lower the opacity if you want to. I probably keep mine all the way up, to be honest, because I like that dark effect on my thumbnails. But we can add some more exposure to this character. Didn't mean to do that, but yeah, just add some exposure, and you're pretty much done with the thumbnail. And if you want to fix this little part right here on the body, or if you didn't have that issue, you don't have to fix it. I'm gonna fix this and I get right back with you guys. All right, so now that I fixed that part, the end of the thumbnail, I'm just gonna merge visible, right, right clicking on anything and hit merge visible, just like so. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to my magic bullet because this would really make the thumbnail better all around. So when I go to magic bullets here is my um, settings. If you don't like them, you can change them up. I got a lot of stuff on here. But yeah, these are my magic bullet settings. And pretty much that's good. At the end, I usually just add Topaz Labs. And yeah, you see you basically already done with the thumbnail just right here. It's pretty simple thumbnail, no text to it. Just trying to help you guys out once again. And you can go to camera raw filter at the end also. As I was telling you guys, when you do this right here, you can try to make it blend more and make the color look better. So once I get in here, I just try to mess with the temperature. And uh, when I have like orange colors like this and stuff, I can try to make it look better with the tint and the temperature and stuff. Now with the dehaze and stuff, you can mess with all this too. Just the clarity, all of this, man. And it's just made the thumbnail look way better. So highlight shadows. And I really suggest you guys getting magic bullets because it's really good and it's simple. And if you ever need help in starting it, just come hit me up on Discord and I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much for the video. Uh, simple thumbnail, not hard to do at all. And I just want to help you guys out. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, man. And yeah, tell your friends about my channel if they need help on GFS too. Peace out.